this week is all about getting ready for our holiday and preschool and today i'm going to tackle the preschool prep because when we get back from our holiday the following morning delilah has her first day of preschool so we need to be pretty much good to go it's so warm today i'm at a complete loss of what to wear um so i've got this um monkey play suit on which i had last year and a vest because everything else I wore was too warm or in the wash. You may have noticed that Delilah no longer has the bar up on the side of her bed. We took that down about a week ago now. Today's the day we turned Delilah's cot bed into her big girl bed. Doug has just gotten this spare part out of the attic and then we've had a read through here and we just need to, to take the side panel down and add this on. <laughs> Last thing to add is the bar. We've got a safety bar. So basically it looks just like the wooden slats that Delilah's used to, um, but it has sides that she can get out of and it just stops her rolling out of bed. What's that? <laughs> is that a big girl bed? Because this is a cot bed and not a single bed. You need teddies? Go get some teddies then. Lots. Go get lots then. <laughs> if this was a single bed, this would go in the middle and there'd be a gap at either end. And they cut this. she's not been too bad the first couple of days she was amazing made absolutely no difference to her naps and um, bedtime it still makes no difference to nighttime she goes to bed fine and um, but she does come in and find me in the morning sometimes and it's so funny because I hear her door go and um, she, she creeps around even at nap time when she's done a couple of hours and it's time to get up. She opens her door really quietly and she creeps around and she comes to find me. It's really funny. Doug and Delilah are in the garden. I think she's um, playing around in her paddling pool. Before we head out for the afternoon, I thought I would show you some bits that I got Delilah for preschool. Um, I haven't gone out and gotten her loads of new wardrobe bits. Just a few bits that I thought would be handy to have extra of like t-shirts. I also ordered a cardigan from Mango, which got lost in the post. So I had to reorder it. So that's not here yet, but I will link that in the description too. Um, everything I'll link. Trousers is something that she needs lots of for both the childminder and the preschool. So I, there's cars and airplanes going past. Since Delilah's been out of nappies, dungarees aren't really an option at her childminders and they're especially not an option at preschool. She still wears them with us, it's not a problem, but it's just something you don't want to put them in for preschool because it's not fair on them and it's not fair on the people looking after them. They've got so many kids to look after. She already has a lot of jeans. She's very much a jeans and dungarees kind of girl. She does have some dresses, but um, I find dresses, they're not as easy to play in. She loves wearing them, but they're restricted for day to day, I think. I think it's much easier for her to play in jeans and dungarees. She already has quite a few pairs of jeans, one pair from Gap, the rest from Zara and Mango. She has these cord trousers. I'm hoping they bring out some more pink cord trousers because I love them. But I did get her one more pair of trousers from Zara. I got her these blue gingham trousers and um, I thought they'd look nice with a plain tee or jumper in the winter. A couple of pieces from Arkit. These were 
hashtag gifted i love our kit i discovered them about a year ago and the first item i bought from our kit for her was this stripy t-shirt and it looks just as good as the day we bought it it's been washed and worn multiple times a week and it's just amazing quality so i knew i wanted to buy her some more t-shirts from our kit and then about a month ago they got hold of me and said would you like to pick out some bits homeware kids clothing women's clothing whatever you fancy and would you like to pick out some bits and um I'm gonna shut the window. It's too noisy outside. I was gonna buy these anyway, but um, thank you Arkit for sending these to us. Picked up the red stripy version of this top and then I got her a short sleeved one, ribbed off white with frilly hems. I thought that was sweet and versatile. Finally found her a sun hat. I definitely started looking for sun hats far too late in the season and all the ones I wanted to get her weren't available. I wanted to get her more of a kind of french style flat brim hat this one comes like that but um i think it looks nicer down especially because it only just fits her head and this is from a brand called petit ba ba batu bateau it basically translates as little boat so if we have a nice september she'll have to take this with her this was mostly purchased for um for our holiday. She's not going to need it now but as there was a sale I thought I'd get ahead of myself because in about a month or two's time she's going to need a coat and I found this in the sale from the same brand that um that I got her hat from. Got a zip and poppers. It's lined with fleece so it's extra warm. I wanted to make sure that she had a hood because it's good if it's really cold or it's just a bit drizzly but not rainy enough to need a raincoat. Got a really pretty silhouette and just a generally really lovely coat and pockets which i'm pretty sure the other day she put some snacks yep she's already already stocked up on snacks shoes wise she'll have her wellies but um she'll only be able to wear those to and from and they have to take them off and put their usual shoes on when they're there i haven't been able to find any velcro ones she can do herself but because they don't need to take them off at preschool i thought these would be okay because um they're easy to do up unlike her high top converse I find them easy to put on but that's because I have a lot of practice. People that don't have practice with them or people that just have a lot of children to look after are not going to want to have to faff around with high top. This is a better option for now. These are from Zara. She likes them because they've got a bit of pink on the insole and on the back. And they're also leather which means easily wipeable. And for these they're going to pop her name in the tongue i will show you what i'm going to do labeling wise i picked up this nifty stamp from a brand called where's the brand stamp tastic i've seen them quite a bit on instagram and someone i follow had a discount code which won't work anymore it was only, it only lasted a week these stamps are instead of having to sew in labels which i have got some labels i do have sewing labels and i know some people will call me crazy for not getting stick on stick and stick on ones i'm just not a fan of them i'd rather just take a little bit more time to sew to sew in some labels so i got some i did get some labels sorry this this is all over the place i got some labels there were so many here these are going to last delilah for gosh at least her first year of um school next year i can't believe she's starting school next year and i got them from a company called woven labels uk i picked out the font the color and um, you can get pre-trimmed labels but they cost a couple pounds more and i thought i can cut these myself i don't mind you guys seeing delilah's last name it's not a huge secret my last name is west i'm not super secretive about it but i just i just is i never had it as part of my channel name because i just always thought rihanna and ashley sounded better ashley's my middle name doug has his last name and his instagram handle so i feel like if someone really wanted to know delilah's last name they could guess that it would either be Doug's last name or my last name. So I'm gonna use these on things like coats, anything that's not gonna be super close to her skin. And then things like shoes and um, t-shirts that don't necessarily need to be named. I can use this stamp because kids get dirty and they need to change their clothes and they need some spare clothes in their bag. And things might get mixed up and I think it's better to label more than you need just in case one thing i love about the arctic clothing and i'm not just saying this because they sent some stuff recently um, i noticed it in let me show you i bought her a cardigan last year from there too she has this cardigan i remember thinking oh that's really good 
they all have these labels with a space to put their name and their year group in. I thought that was really handy because there aren't many children's clothes that I've come across that have an air, a specific area for names. These stamps are clear so you can line up and see where you're stamping. And it's not just clothes that you can use this on, you can use it on wood and I think they said metal. I got Delilah's name in Comic Sans in size 14 if um, you were wondering what font and things I got that in. We're gonna go out now, but when we get back later on, I'm gonna start labeling everything. What I will do before we go out is show you her lunchbox. I spent so much time looking for a lunchbox that was environmentally friendly, or as environmentally friendly as you can get. Something Delilah would like, something that would be easy for Delilah to use to undo and do up and pack up in her bag and last her a while and so many of you have been asking what i uh, what lunchbox i decided on and i decided to get this one from ecobo this bag is made from five recycled plastic bottles the lunchbox inside made by the same brand and on their website it says um that they're made from ecologically sensitive materials and renewable and sustainable resources. All products in this eco-friendly dining, kitchen and bathroom collection are F FDA and LFGB certified and they're free from toxins like BPA, PVC, lead, mercury and so on. <laughs> when we get to preschool every morning she'll have her hanger where she'll put her bag and her coat and um, hat and anything else and then they have a lunch trolley which they need to put their lunch boxes on. This also will take up the, her whole bag. So I decided to find her a lunch bag which she could carry. I realised this morning that it's got a hook so um, she won't need to hang it up but if she did that's very handy and I will probably put a name label somewhere on the outside. There is also a place for her to put her name on the inside of the lunch box so I'll stamp her name on that. Obviously when it comes to lunchtime and they're handing out lunch boxes. I think it's more useful to have their name on the outside. There's a pocket here to store anything they might want to store. And then their lunch boxes perfectly fit. So this is their rect rectangular one. I actually have the square one and they come with a black elastic band to keep them in place. But I've taken that off because in the lunch box it doesn't really need to be in there. And I feel like the black band around here will be a bit fiddly for Delilah to take on and off. But yeah, anyway, this, I'll, I'll show you, I'll bring you down here. The rectangular lunch boxes fit perfectly in their lunch bags. It comes with a compartment here, which you can take out if you need to. Because I have this one already, if she ever needs an extra compartment in here, maybe to, I don't know, separate some pasta and something else here, these fit perfectly in there so that's quite handy and cutlery wise she can just use her bamboo cutlery that she already had here from home i think these ones were by molly moo molly and moo molly moo and um i'll pop those in here and i will be labeling all of all of this stuff later i was very happy with this line and i'm hoping that this will do her throughout at least primary school i mean this bag i can see lasting it's very very well made. The lunchbox, who knows? I mean, you know, there's always a possibility that it could get lost or um, be in bamboo. I mean, even plastic does crack and it could crack. But I have bought this with the mindset that this will do her for a while and if it all stays in one piece, then I feel like she won't mind having this at school. I feel like it's quite universal. And yeah, I'm very happy with this find. Water bottle wise, she doesn't actually need one, which is handy because I've not been able to find a water bottle that is leak proof that she can also undo herself. They specifically said on the welcome packs for her preschool to not worry about water bottles because they have um, they hand out cups of water and milk throughout the day and during lunch times and snack times. That's your sun cream, yes. We're gonna head out now. We need to get some food bits and Delilah's back at the job minders tomorrow, so we need to get you lunch. Also gonna grab a coffee and then when we get back later, I will start labeling all of Delilah's things for preschool. Do you want your sunglasses? No, might, I'll put them in my bag. Okay, I'll put those in my bag then. Whilst I'm here, might as well show you my new key ring. I've not had a key ring for ages since my pom-pom one broke and I fixed it and it broke again and I just I gave up on it. This is from our kit. See, it was part of the stuff that I picked out from them. Again, I was gonna get this anyway. It's just a plain leather strap. It makes it much easier to find it in my bag and I really like them. Thank you. Bits up, 
Come on. Tom's knocking about, so he's gonna come meet us for lunch. We're sitting outside. Yeah. We are sitting outside, aren't we? time to start labeling i think i'm going to do the bits that i have down here that i showed you today and then i'll just label um as as we go on throughout the year but i want to get the main things like sun hat and um, raincoat down shoes i'll be able to stamp these inside and then with delilah's wellies i'm gonna have to order some stickers Probably didn't help that this is a bit creased, but that's worked really well. labels I could easily stamp this one but I just prefer the look of um, sewing labels and I have them so I might as well use them the stamp worked really well on her cutlery I think with her lunch bag and box I'm going to use the stickers that I'm going to order for her wellies. I couldn't make my mind up whether I wanted to label them around the strap. Should have probably have done it around the strap because the first time I did it, I did it around here and I thought, mm, do I prefer it on the strap? And I couldn't make my mind up. We're now waiting for Delilah to wake up because we're going to head out again. Uh, there's a music festival 
kind of small festival but um, we thought it'd be nice to go there and then I have an evening Pilates class. I went to an evening Pilates class last week, it was at 6.15, this one's at 7 and it wasn't that warm but the sun, because it was quarter past 6, the sun was right on us as we were on the reforming machines. There's no aircon in the studio and I was being put, I'm slightly worried I'm going to be very hot gonna have to wait till I arrive because it's already gone five and we need to get a move on if we're gonna go to this music thing typically I don't know if you've seen in the vlog at all but I've been bitten and I was thinking yesterday how I never I never seem to get bitten in the UK it's only when I'm abroad that I get bitten I've gotten some citronella spray from Niljard it's got really good reviews and a little bit more natural than all the um, generic ones that you get in um, boots and super dragon places got it all ready for our holiday and uh, little did I know that I probably should have sprayed myself with it this week because uh, I've got a bite there I'm really hoping that it goes down because I have a tendency on my legs to get bites and then they get really bad and they scar for a bit. Who's ready for ice cream? Me. 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 Go do some dancing. Yeah. Come on then. It's not quite the homemade strawberry ice cream from the nice restaurant down the road that we were hoping for. Everything's shut because it's Frank holiday. So uh, we found the news agent and got ice cream in there. But you're happy. She's got your strawberries and cream. Mummy's got her Maltese at one. Mm. but then I realised, although I'm booked on for Wednesday and Friday, I can't make those classes. I need to go tonight, otherwise I'm not gonna go for a while. I'm still not gonna go for a while. I might have to try and do some kind of lattes at home. And then I'm gonna leave these two to go home and make dinner. Class finished, had a really good class considering it was so warm I was very sweaty I was like, skidding around on the machine she do a lot of lying down and the, the machines are leather I was just sliding around all over the place Doug said uh, him and Delilah will come pick me up to save me get in the bus so I'm gonna sit here and wait for them uh, apparently she's having a second helping of dinner so we didn't get her up until about quarter past five half five from her nap I'm in a bit of a later evening. Um, I should have gotten them to do some filming whilst I was at Pilates. Uh, the only reason I didn't is I'm just slightly worried about the limited time I have to edit this video and also film another video on Wednesday and get that up before we go away. Otherwise, I um, would have gotten them to film making dinner. I love this time of evening. It's so peaceful and it feels, um, I kind of, I was getting a bit excited about autumn and I wasn't really <laughs> looking forward to more hot weather, but actually it's been quite nice. And this warm weather is getting us accustomed to it. So we're um, a little bit more used to it 
on our holiday and um, it's actually getting me quite excited about nice summer evenings when we're away. Couldn't be bothered to get changed just because I'm so sticky. I feel like it's going to be so hard to get out of this. So I stayed in my workout stuff. I'm going to get home and jump in the shower, put Delilah to bed, have some dinner. I'm going to stop talking to myself because I'm getting some weird looks. And I'm just going to enjoy the evening. I love this time of day. Dawn and dusk. It's my favourite. Hello. Hi. Hello. Delilah and I just had a shower together and uh, we got into bed, snuggles, read her some books and um, she's just gone down for the night. I'm gonna have my dinner and uh, watch an episode of 13 Reasons Why. It's been a nice day today and uh, I'm feeling much better than I was last week. I am, um, you know when, um, I, honestly I swear my, um, my time of the month, my period, my whatever you want to call it, has gone worse the older I get. Well, I don't know whether it got worse after I had Delilah but for the week but for the last week I felt this almost like pressure pressure building up in me and um, then as, as soon as I get my time in the month it's like the pressure just comes out and I feel so much better or it could just be because you've had a nice day but yeah anyway I will see you for the last vloggist in a couple of days mm, I might put it live on the 30 first on the very last day um even though i will want to have it edited and done by maybe the thursday um so i've got time to finish packing before we go away but if i put it up on the very last day of the month it means that there's less time between when there's no vlogs because i won't be uploading when we're on holiday but i will be vlogging and then i've got to edit them when i get back so there will be a gap in the videos but hopefully it'll be worth it because it'll be some good vlogs anyway i will see you then <laughs>